Hi, I'm Callum from Tyne Valley Motor Homes and today's hike over is going to be in Adria Matrix 520ST. So coming down the driver's side of the vehicle, first locker you get to, which is your LPG, which is your gas locker, and this holds the two bottles. So you open it with the Adria flip key. And in here you get two six kilogram bottles. To get the pigtail on the bottle, it's a left hand thread, then you will need an adjustable wrench of some sort or gas spanner to nip up. Turn on and off at the bottle, obviously turn it off when you are travelling and make sure the bottle is securely strapped in. You do have central locking on the habitation door as well. And then on the back got your small garage compartment which is here it has a 240 socket 10 amp 12 volt and two usbs in there and then on the back panel itself you've got your high level brake light above the adria logo your camos reverse camera and your bike rack rails here if you want to fit a bike rack in the future and then on this side you do have your toilet cassette so to lift the cassette out make sure the blades close you can lift the slide out like so remove the cap so the end is exposed like this go to your waste disposal point on site which is normally behind the other side your toilet block press the button tip it out once it's all been tipped out put some water in and tip out again just to give it that final rinse and then you can use the cap as a measuring stick so it would be a cap full of liquid straight in here and then you can push it back inside the vehicle which is either the blue or the green. If you did want to use the tablet form of chemical now you can so you put a pint of fresh water back into the cassette and slide it back into the vehicle and drop one down the toilet. On the outside you do have your two food drain covers you've got your Truma boiler vent so make sure that subsuction phrase is just allowing the fumes from the water heater and boiler out. You've got your fresh water fill up point which again opens and closes with this key. You can then take it off and put a hose pipe in there and fill it until it either overflows or until you're happy you've got enough water on board. On the digital control panel on the side we'll show you how much water is in the fresh water tank. And then you do have a 12 volt feed there, so should you not be able to get a hose pipe to the van and you get an aqua roller above it, you'll put your wheel submersible pump into there, your hose pipe end into there, and the, the pump into here and fill with water. So, mains connectivity point at the front there, so hook the vehicle up, get your hooker blade, lift the collar, and slide on like so. This will then hook the vehicle up, always hook the van up first, then go to your power source and obviously unhook the power source before you unhook the vehicle as we wouldn't want you walk around with a live lead for obvious reasons. On the door there you do have your diesel filler which opens with the main ignition key and below because it's a new brand new vehicle and it's a Euro 6 compliant engine it's got the AdBlue solution which will indicate We'll come on the instrument cluster between the temperature and fuel gauge when it needs it. It'll do between five to six thousand mile on a twit and the tank is twenty litres, so it's just twenty litres to top up should it, the light come on. And you can get that from most service stations and petrol stations now as most engines take that. On the door you've got your tire pressure, so five bar on the front which is 72.3 psi and five and a half bar on the back which is 79.5 psi. Underneath the Passenger seat, you've got your tool box, which is jack and a brace and a torn eye, and underneath the floor in the cab is where your engine battery lives. Tire pressure kit for so it doesn't come with a spare wheel, it's a tire inflation kit. To, and then your bonnet release is on the side of the dashboard, which pops the bonnet. And then, if we just have a quick look underneath the bonnet. Adria sticker so it's three and a half ton if you were to put a tow bar on and tow anything you can tow an extra two ton meaning the train weight can't exceed 5.5 ton you've got your paint coat here obviously your oil filler and dipstick brake fluid power steering 
it's just a radiator fluid so this is your coolant your power steering fluids next to it these all lift off to top them two up and then you've got your screen wash in the corner there earth for giving or receiving a jump start and if you just put your key in here and lift up you then have your red positive for giving or receiving a jump start there so above the habitation door you've got your truma heating and hot water control panel which i'll get onto in a second but this is your motorhome control panel so if you're hooked up you will like we are you'll have the little hookup symbol here you can turn on and off by pressing and holding so this is off then you've got on you turn your lights on like so by the light bulb the van on the side is your awning light you've got your auxiliary which is for that 12 volt source for filling your water should you need it you've got your pump which you need to have on to use your taps toilet shower and various water appliances on board then you've got your fresh water reading which because it's the winter and this is a brand new vehicle just arrived it's got zero percent water on board and then your waste is your red which has got 50% in. Above you've got battery one, which is your, it looks like a truck, which is a chassis cab, which is 13.13 volt. And this is your Fiat Decato battery. And then you've got the motorhome, which looks like a trailer, which is 13.7 volt. You've got the ampage current, currently coming being used. So the ampage being used, which is, is 0.12 amps and then you've got the internal temperature of 14 volt or 14 degrees should I say and the outs of 10 coming onto here you do have your truma so press and hold you'll get the screen press again and then you can go into the menu you've got the motorhome with the thermometer in in the far left hand corner and this is the temperature of the vehicle so you can have all the way off or all the way to 30 degrees so for this we'll just say 30 degrees press the wheel presets the heating to 30 degrees moving on you've got the water with the thermometer in if there's no water on board you can have it on off eco is 40 degrees hot is 60 degrees and boost if you've got the heating on we'll turn the heating off to prioritize the water so for this we'll just say eco which is heating the water at 40 degrees moving further along you've got your gas bottle and electricity symbols this is what source you're heating the vehicle or the water off so you've got gas on its own i.e you'd use this if you are well camping mixture of one kilowatt and gas the mixture of two kilowatts and gas which is doubling the sources so if you're in a rush to heat the motorhome up or the water you'd put on mix two allow it to heat up and then turn it over to electric if you're on a site you've got electric on one kilowatt and you've got electric on two kilowatts so in most camping and caravan sites you've paid your site fees you'll not want to waste your gas you'd use electric on two or if you're drawing too much current you'd have to use electric on one so for this we'll just say electric on two Moving further along, you've got your fan speed, so you've got eco, high or boost. So boost will prioritize it. High will just, it's just a 12 volt feed fan, so high will boost it as well. Or you can have it on eco if you're wild camping and it will not take as high of a feed from the 12 volt. So for this we'll just say eco. Down in the bottom left hand corner, you've got a timer, so you can only time it once. Start timer and finish got the clock which is displayed on the main control panel and you've got a spanner so should you get a warning triangle in here you go to the spanner you go all the way down to reset press enter it'll then say preset press enter and it will reset your heating and hot water boiler and control panel on the door obviously it's a wider door you do have a fly screen and on the actual door itself Cover the window on the night you've got a blackout blind and then to shut it it is on the center locking but you can shut the door on its own by just pushing the catch back which locks this door. so in your stylish back kitchen you do have your gas rings so there you go there's three gas lit so once you've used these if you allow them to cool down before you put the lid down and then you've got your sink 
With your cupboards, if you just push the catch up to release the drawer, you've got your cutlery tray in your drawer there. A small bit of storage there. A deep drawer. Your oven and grill, your Fedford oven and grill. So if you want to put your oven on, just remove that first. There's your oven away, and then your grill above. Allow the thermocouple to warm before you release, like so. Underneath, you have storage, and you've got your wheel arch, which just slightly encroaches there, and you've got some storage in here as well. The most impressive part of the 520 is behind the shutter here, so if you, you've got a full storage cabinet there for all your plates, cutlery and various other bits and pieces you need for dining. Got a 3 pin plug on 240 volt and then you've got your lights there. In the top cupboards, you've got storage, and then behind me, in your wardrobe, you've got storage, and there's your, your carpets and your carb carpet in there, and then below, you have storage into your small garage area so you can access things from inside as well as outside the motorhome. Your skylight, what you need to do is push this button in, slide it down and then you can open the skylight or you can put it into the grooves should it be a nice day and you want ventilation pop that in allow the button to pop over the bar that's closed always make sure your skylights and your windows are closed before you travel got a blackout a fly screen and a blackout blind now stepping into your washroom this is where your ladder is stored for your drop down bed which I'll get onto in a second you've got your shower doors so when not using the vehicle and especially when winterizing it if you take your shower head off and allow your shower hose to lie in your shower tray to stop any loops any water that's in this hose will then drain off down the shower tray plug leave your all your mixer taps open so your kitchen your hand basin your shower you leave them open you've got a screen here which will slide across the door and across the toilet and then give you your showering screen which is just tied back by the door to stop your door and your toilet area getting wet lights here so you've got your light for above your shower and you've got your light here for above your toilet two little levers underneath here underneath the glass which releases and this is your toilet cabinet and if you pull down your fold away sink when you've used it if you just and it's full slowly tip it back as it drops into here and this channel in if you put if you push it too far it will just flood the top of the toilet so do it slowly when you've finished using it and store your tap away to use the toilet so the Fedford bench style toilet what you need to do is put the pump on Press the button which will obviously flush the toilet, always flush the toilet before use as it lubricates the blade. Then you would slide this to the right which will open the cassette. Use the toilet with the cassette blade open. Once you've finished using it, flush and then slide to the left which will close. You've then got three lights. These lights will all light up when the cassette is full. Make sure the blade's closed and you'll be able to get the cassette out. So to make your bed out the lounge, you use your base cushion of your travelling seat, your back rest of your travelling seat goes onto the table, use your base cushion, stays there with the back rest, then you do use your base cushion of the side bench seat and the back rest which slides down into position. And there you have basically a small double slash large single bed. To operate your drop down bed above the lounge there's a switch located next to the control panel which when you turn the control panel on 
I make sure the lights are on, you'll be able to then press the button, hold, and it'll come halfway. And the ladder, which lives on your bathroom wall there, will just clip onto here and give you access to your bed. You've got two touch lights there for whoever is sleeping in the bed, reading lights, and you do have a net there which clips onto here should you have small children in the bed above to stop them falling out. If you did want to just use this vehicle as a two berth, from the factory the bed only stops halfway but you can remove the blocks in the channeling to allow the bed to come down to here. But as of a factory, because it's a four berth from the factory, it's designed to stop here but you can bring it lower should you require. So now in the cab you have your handbrake to your right, on the door pillar you have your electric windows and electric mirror adjustments where you turn the joystick and choose whether your top or your blind spot. You've got your concertina blind so you'd slide this forward, pull it up, it'll reveal the magnet, the magnet will then just stick onto the side of the door there and then if you pinch windscreen blinds so pinch that one and do exactly the same this side slide in and that there are just a magnetic strip on the both Remus car blinds at the front so if it's going to be a windy night I'd advise putting something around it to stop them pinging open and then they just fold away like so and the same on that side as here you then have your front and rear fogs and your headlight adjustment your wipers with your trip computer on the end of here which does your miles per gallon, your travelling time, your range, your distance travelled, your instant and average consumption, lights and indicators, cruise control, off, speed limiter, to set the cruise control, get to the desired speed, then press up, you see a little plus, and then if you want to speed up you can do press and hold, goes up in fives, press and hold like this, goes up in one, if you have to then stop, Put your foot on the brake you can then press resume and it will resume the cruise control to the last speed set or you can go down to speed limit there if you don't want to go over the desired speed limit six speed manual gearbox with lift the collar into reverse and there's your reverse camera on there you've got traction control this turns it off hill descent control which is more for an automatic so this doesn't work as this mon model is a manual six speed hazards this locks all three doors, so cab and habitation motorhome door, so you will just have to lock your lockers. Heated mirrors, USB for charging purposes only and 12 volt. Got your cup holders down there. Glove box, and then this glove box here is heated and cooled by your air conditioning. So in the summer, if you want to keep things in chilled, you can put bits and pieces in there when the aircon's on, but in the winter, if it, if you want to keep something warm you can put it in there but anything else will melt i.e chocolate so don't put anything like that in there in the winter and then coming on to your temperature so you've got your temperature on the outside ring it must be on fan speed one or more for the air to work which is this button here which illuminates orange then you do have your distribution so where you want the air to go to and your circulation so you need to recirculate air within the motorhome or bring fresh air in. Now you do have your new Fiat styled head unit. So you turn on and off here on the side. Then you've got a little home button which brings you to this menu. So you've got radio which is FM, AM and DAB. So as you can see I'm flicking through there. And then you can go to stations and browse the list of stations you want. So this is FM if I go across to DAB all stations there you go there's all your dab stations we can go back and find your gender and genre of channels you've got your volume and then you've got your shortcut so you've got radio media which is a USB um, connectivity here for the media or Bluetooth audio streaming from your device. Phone, so phone you can go in by the shortcuts or off the home menu. To connect your phone, you connect a phone, add a phone. You want to find search for Fiat 1676 on your phone. 
you've got a time there of how long to take so it's about two minutes and then once you've found it it will then ask you what you to pair press pair make sure the pins match then it'll ask you if you want to allow you to save your contacts in the head unit do press allow because then whoever rings you will come up with a name if it's saved in your phone book on your phone rather than just a number and then if we'll go back to here this head unit has got um navigation so faint navigation so then you would just go to here new route address and then if you did want to put a postcode in where it says crookgate bank as that's where we are you would take that out and you would put in your postcode or your town if you just wanted to put a town and then if you knew your street name you would put that in there and then you can uh, press go to town or go to destination if you were going abroad you can change that from united kingdom to france spain italy wherever you want to travel you can change that and then as this is the new head unit it does have a special feature of apple carplay and android auto so if i just connect my iphone here into here open your iPhone there you are Apple CarPlay comes on there and as you can see the phone has changed from Bluetooth to Apple CarPlay so whoever rings you it will automatically go through so if you click on Apple CarPlay you've got your it will automatically go onto your phone click the three squares in the bottom which will take you to your home menu where you've got your tiles so you can see your applications so if you go back to fate that will take you back into the fate menu you've got obviously your maps so you've got your maps there so you use google maps um, and obviously if you've got your destination set work home or you can set it search for a destination 